name is Asitonka Adri Abba and the channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a darling. <laughs> Hi everyone, so remember what I said in the last video? I'm going to put that here. You know the thing with Nigerians, we have not gotten to the point where we can sep we can leave a business. So basically, Femi Ote Dollar that we know, the MD of photo oil, he sold his shares in photo oil at 75% and he's going on to another business in power. And I've said this thing before, entrepreneurship, like he even said in an interview, that an, a true entrepreneur knows what other people don't know. So I think that he has found something in the power industry. So those of you that have big box, you might need to look into that area. I think he has found something in that power sector and he wants to tap without being, photo he might still be doing very well. But that's another thing, knowing when to just pack it up and go. Like that ring business I used as an example in my last video. Remember that most good entrepreneurs, they know when to pack it up and go into ventures that are more profitable. Without sentiment, you're living on a good note. You're not living a dilapidated business. You're not living a, you're not staying and hanging on to the business till nobody can take it over. Like you, you mess the whole thing up and nobody can come in. Do you get so i think there are lots of lessons we can learn from him the first one is his um his ability to detach of course i read um, one of his posts where he was thanking his dad i think he had to sell the first house he built to invest in photo oil that's how much he believed in photo oil he sold the first house he built the father added money for him to start getting diesel trucks and build photo oil when he took it took Fort Oil from, it was um, BP, Br British Petroleum, then AP before Fort Oil. He took, like, he, he ran the, the business very well for the number of years he did. And now he wants to go into another business. Sentiment would have said, okay, still maintain Fort Oil and be doing this other one. But no, we have to know when to cut it off. Like, it depends on how large your new idea is. I also said yes you can do more than one and so that one is like a buffer but these boys this uh, i call them boys these are big boys they are running into that they are playing in the billion field so sorry they are playing in the billion field so nobody is playing small ball again do you get so um especially when dangote recently sold the flower part he's building the the refinery so any any chunk of money yes of course the flower was still doing very well but it's the refinery dream and vision is so big you cannot say eh, still maintain the flour now because that one can be bringing one one naira this one will bring two, two naira no they want to sell all those ones so that they can not just one naira they can be getting in millions so why we we are thinking okay let me maintain five businesses this one will bring 50 kobo this one will bring 20 naira this one will bring 10 naira they will sell all and get one business that is bringing 100k per day do you understand like greater risk, risk uh, like in petroleum in the petroleum industry there's something we call high risk high reward so like the higher the risk the higher the reward in some businesses so now that Fe femi otodola has moved to power i think there's something in that power because he did have interview like i said before that entrepreneurs know what others do not know so diligence doggedness i have learned doggedness from him and another thing you would notice you would have noticed like from time i was i watch his instagram um, feed he took time out to go and clear his head he wore those his strips and all of that in fact the boy even challenged him that you're always traveling what are you traveling for maybe the boy didn't know that that was his retreat pending when he's selling his shares so he has to stay clear his mind for the next big business he's venturing into and the boy was like well, when do you stay to work and he said he had entrepreneurs for that and that's one thing about delegation so you delegate so that when you need to take bold steps about the business your business is functioning but you need to take a retreat or you need to go to lagos or go to abuja or maybe change the environment if you're in lagos you need to go to abuja or come to potaco or go to a new place so that you can get fresher ideas you can get better um, understanding of the path you're, you're venturing into also most times this risk you know even in christianity there are pastors that have to go for retreats they go on the mountain before big programs and the rest they go to pray they separate themselves that's the same thing in business if you're hearing too many voices you get to a point where you have to separate yourself to understand the new path you're you're, you're moving into and i think i i have so many things to learn from that his move i don't know about you if you have anything that you think you learned from that move for the fourth oil comment down comment um down below so that we can 
you've learned together you can comment and let us know what what did you learn because for me i've come to that point where i want to watch this billion you know it's easy for you to say i want to be a billionaire but you're not watching the way they're playing this game you're not watching the way they're playing this business game it's not going to work now because most times we're afraid if i sell this business now if i leave this business what would i do what if the next one doesn't work what if the next one doesn't work he's selling it and he doesn't even know if the power will work but he's going head first but no not the way he's going in now to power femi otedola is going as an experienced starter he's starting it yes but if i am starting with him the difference is that he's experienced so shutting down a business is not failure you're starting all over as an experienced man so now he's starting he has his contacts he has if he decides okay the power is generating he will be using lpg sorry liquefied uh, petroleum gas or uh, liquefied lng liquefied natural gas any of the gases he knows that his mentor aliko dangote is building a refinery so that is going to not lack supply of gas and you know we have so much gas in nigeria that we're looking for a way to even send it out so if his power generating plant or idea is based on gas he already has a lot a lot of raw material the next thing now you want to look at like what area is it going into solar is it going to we have very little information concerning this new business but i know that from the way and the blueprint he follows for his other businesses he's coming in very experienced and we should just watch out for that train so i don't know about you whatever you need to comment comment down below i know a lot of people called me back in fact because i when i uploaded the last video and i said that thing about entrepreneurs knowing when to um cut themselves off a lot of people had to call me back because the very next day was when he sold the fort oil and they're like jesus as you see what you just talked about and I, I even told my students one of them even called me back and said one of them even called me back sorry and said madam you mentioned this thing in class and it's also funny I was like yes I did because I've not sold any business to start something but I'm watching and I'm, I'm watching like the blueprint of that these people follow I'm not someone that I don't fear failure if I want to start something if I see some I love my business the event planning I love my other businesses that even though I've not taken off as much as I want to and I've given some time out to be a mother and just take care of my son I love all my businesses but if at this point you know i started off as a petroleum engineer if petroleum engineering calls me now and i look at i look at the train i look at what i stand to benefit i look at the time another thing i want is time if it's going to give me time if it's not going to give me time and i'm benefiting so much and i can delegate like i'll weigh all my pros and cons because i also want to have time to explore the many things i want to do but if i get a proper business maybe even like a a vendor a consultant so to speak and i cannot pinch that time to do wedding planning i will shut it down i will shut it down i love it i love my clients i love the job but if it gets to that point passion is wonderful passion is good this is this assistant is my passion but when it gets to that point where i need to get to another level in my life i'm shutting it down i'm going to the next thing. so that's the same mindset i'm training myself and i decided to share and tell people that it's possible for us to like something and it's also possible for us to let it go when the time is right if the people that sold instagram and whatsapp did not sell at that time maybe the facebook guy would have gone to get another software and push them out of business if you don't know when to sell hmm? If you don't know when to sell you can lose a lot in business another thing is if you sell too early you can lose a lot imagine the people that sold up their apple shares very early then also imagine blue um blackberry blackberry did not evolve they didn't know when to sell they didn't know when to arrange themselves another thing yahoo yahoo mess themselves up by not knowing when to sell detach yourself from my started this business it's my own it's my name it's my brand it's my when it gets to a point where the competition is high and they approach you and say they want to buy the business you weigh your pros and cons you look at your profits you look at what because the understanding is with you the ideas are with you somebody can buy one business now and i'll start another one if someone comes and approaches me to buy my event planning business i can sell it now i'll sell it just how much i look i can start another from scratch i will sell it and i'll start another one because the idea is with me so if someone comes and says okay i want to buy this other bit if it's the time is right and i look and i see that by competition i cannot even i cannot near this person if this person decides to put all their eggs they have all the money and they want to come and take all my clients i cannot near them you understand so by the time i look at all those things i can decide you know what let me sell understanding when to sell a business 
at the right time understanding when to let go is one of the keys that these people are not telling us and if we watch them i i listen to what they say quite all right but i watch their business move it's like chess i watch the moves they make on the chess board yes they will tell you think of billions great mindsets have a good like, you know those generic advice that some people give everybody has that advice diligence excellence fight um, perseverance everybody we have read it in all the books but it's another thing to watch like how they actually play this game so that's one of the main areas and i don't know i don't know about you i mean comment that comment in the section down below let us know your own take on this move i mean when i saw it i was amazed very happy i'm like greater things ahead for the femi otedola empire i know that he's going to do big big things so i've learned one what about you so i'll see you guys in the next video and i'll put all these videos about business and business talk i'll put them in a playlist so all the normal gist that runs we do about business i'll put it in a playlist in one section so you can always watch it and watch all of them so thank you so much once again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video